Howdy folks, how y'all doing? Hey, uh, today I think I'm gonna try, succeed, maybe fail, but uh, I don't think so. I think this is gonna be pretty, pretty damn simple. I got, uh, well, like a lot of people have, a lot of you guys have, uh, these uh, Rode Go To, you know, lavalier, mi well, they're just wireless microphone systems. Sometimes I use with a lavalier, sometimes I use with uh, just the uh, furry and, you know, strap it like yay or like yo. Point is, what I wanna do, and, and there's just no good way that I see to do it, I want it to just do that. I would like it to magnetically just do that. There's no, uh, there's no metal on the backside here, so yeah, magnets are out of the you know, realm of possibility. If you, uh, you know, stick it to you, <laughs> it'll do that, but it's, it's never pointing in the right direction. Yeah, ideally, uh, supposedly, to get the best sound, it's got to be shooting, pointing, you know, kind of at your mouth hole, right? And, uh, you know, to get it upwards, yeah, it still don't do it. Yeah, you know what I mean. What I need, a simple solution, is to magnetically just do that. So, um, yeah, <laughs> I think that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to make it magnet, uh, magnetic, and I'm going to make it just, uh, you know, stick a magnet up under my shirt here and stick or two, something like, yo. Um, that's the game plan. That's the name of the game today. And, uh, yeah, let's get into it. Alrighty then. Um, here's my thinking. What I was, uh, well, all I need to do, I mean, all, all that really needs to be accomplished here, we gotta put a ferrous type of metal on the backside of this, then, uh, you know, stick a magnet under your shirt, uh, round magnet, bar magnet, whatever you got laying around, you know how that works. And uh, yeah, presto, kitchen magic, right? Um, to do that, I have some 16 gauge thickness, uh, just regular sheet metal. Uh, it's a little overkill. Actually, it's quite a bit overkill, but uh, it's what I have laying around. I'm going to use it. So what I'm going to do, give you a two-cent tour here real quick. I'm going to, yeah, something like that. I am going to, well, I already marked it, or basically where I want the bend to begin. I'm gonna use this, this whole plate, basically the whole plate anyway, and I'm just gonna take the, the full width of the, uh, the, the body of the microphone, the full width of it, and I'm just gonna fold it back over. Now, uh, it's easy enough to do, right? You, you just put it in a vise and you, you hammer it flat. That creates a problem, I can't do that. Uh, another reason why I'm <laughs> spending the time to kind of show and tell. You see how that clamps on like that? There's, uh, yeah, hopefully it's in there. There's little tits, because this is meant to uh, clip onto clothing and that sort of thing. Little tits right there, keep it from sitting flat. I need to notch out to accommodate for those little tits. And when I make this bend here, I also need to, to radius that. I need to have, um, I can't just fold it. You know what I mean? I can't just fold the steel flat. If I do that, uh, it won't it won't wrap around this little clip here, so I need to create a radius and I need to, the radius to be the minimum thickness of This uh, clip itself. Does that make sense? And I'll show you how I'm going to do that in just a second But I'm just running over the premise here of what I'm going to do basically uh, double the width and uh, Create a radius when I make the bend and I'll show you how I'm doing that when I get there I got a notch out for those those little tits Hopefully that's coming out there are little, little tits in there. Because, you know, like I said, it's meant for grabbing hold of clothing and that, that sort of thing. I think you can see that, all right? Right? Okay, so uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this to length and then we're gonna do some bending and notch out for the tits that I just showed you. And yeah, it's gonna be real short and sweet, just like that. And we're rolling. All right, so here's the name of the game. Drew my lines. This is my center line. Uh, I'm going to create a bend on the inside of this line to begin my radius. And uh, raha, I'm just going to chop her off. Let's get to it. Uh, 
because I'm too lazy to change my, my bit in the, uh, or I should say my disc in my actual angle grinder. I'm just gonna use a Dremel tool here real quick. That should be enough. And, cause I'm gonna sand it later anyway, it doesn't matter. And that's absolutely the straightest cut in the world because, uh, yeah, <laughs> like I said, it doesn't matter. I'm going to tune it up later on a sandy disc, uh, round off all the corners and all that jazz. So, um, yeah, let's get to bending. All right, before I get too far ahead of myself here, and I almost did, I thought about it. I was gonna bend it and then drill the holes, but I decided, nay. I'm gonna drill the holes first. I have uh, marked where those tits need to puncture through. Hopefully that's coming out. Two little dots there. I'm gonna punch a hole, punch a hole, and then create a slit with the Dremel tool and you know widen it out until those tits fit all the way nice and flush. And uh, yeah, hopefully the thing uh, will sit vertical or, or level or horizontal. <laughs> Whatever axes you choose to uh, verify with, uh, hopefully it will just work in any which position. So uh, yeah, let's uh, get on to it. Huh? Alrighty, so um, yeah, it's a little, a little something, something like that. That's the general idea, or anywho. It, uh, you know, it fits. It allows this to clip on to this, and it allows that to, here, let me get you in a little bit different position, huh? Is that a good position? I don't know. It allows that to sit more flush, more, more level, more even. I'm, I'm debating whether or not I should uh, create another notch for those, those tits on the bottom. I didn't plan on it initially, and I, you know, I'm, I'm still, still at odds, because once I fold this around, I would have to create a, a bigger radius to account for what's sticking out there. Um, you know what, I think I'm gonna do it. Yeah, it just makes sense. All right, I'm gonna create another notch so that when this uh, clip, you know, squeezes down on that, those tits can poke through and this thing will actually sit flat. Hopefully I'm focused here. <laughs> I don't know, I really can't see. Anyway, that's what's uh, going on here. All right, this is gonna be the fun part. Um, I'm over here in my pole building. <laughs> There's no electricity. I didn't bring a freaking light, I should have. I wish I did, but uh, whatever, I didn't. Anyway, got a little bit of light coming in through the uh, garage door. <sighs> Something like that. All right, um, I need to bend this thing. Hmm. <laughs> Created my line. Well, I can see it on one monitor anyway. What I'm gonna do, my, my, my game plan is, I wanna get the bend started and uh, to account for the thickness of the, uh, whatever, the, the, the clamp here, you know, that away, that thing there. To account for the thickness of, of this little lever, this little clamp, um, I guesstimated and I over, overshot it intentionally. I'm gonna use a drill bit. That's how I'm gonna create that radius. Uh, and uh, I'll, I'll give you the numbers when I get back home. I can't, I don't have enough here to see with. But uh, anyway, I'm gonna start the bend and, uh, no, this way. This way. And then we'll, uh, Finish it off, hopefully, quickly. Quick and dirty, quick and easy, something like that. Yeah. I want the radius to occur on this side of the line. That's why I'm doing it the way that I'm doing it. That's why I drew my line and uh, I'm just eyeballing it. It ain't gotta be perfect. It's just gotta be good enough, close enough. You know what I mean? Anyway, and that does look like, yeah. <clears throat> Uh, yeah. Yes, sir. All right. Lock that in. 
I'm going to start the bend. <laughs> Maybe, hopefully. Just whack it with a hammer. Nothing, nothing special. Now the fun's going to begin. If I stop making all that racket while talking, the fun's going to begin when I uh, get it uh, a little further bent. So I'll speed this up here. All right, that's uh, that's about that. Now, <laughs> now I'm going to. I have my radius. It's it's still right there. <laughs> it's still it's still right there. Uh, I'm going to open up the vise. This chainsaw, damn it, in my way. Get out of here, ball. Anyway. <clears throat> Something like that. And I'm gonna make a sandwich. Basically, until it uh, starts bending and, and doing its thing. Hopefully, yeah, if I move my person. All right, yeah, that's working. That's working. And start caving it in. Stick that drill bit down in there gonna want to pop out I'm sure at some point here still looking good still looking good still looking good yeah hey it's gone beautifully it didn't pop out nothing's moving all right I'm just gonna close her up up oh, there it did <laughs> freaking out uh, where'd you go where'd you go uh, it's still down in there all right all right now uh <laughs> now for the impossible part. I need to grab it up a little higher, something like yay, and to, yeah, here it is. To keep that drill bit down, I'm just gonna brute force it. I'm gonna use the end of my uh, t uh, square here, a little mini square. I'm just gonna put a lot of downward pressure on that. While, while, Closing it up. All right. And I think that is not tea bag. Not perfect, but not too bad either. So uh, I'm going to Tune that up just a little, but anyway, here's the here's the basic idea. You can see what happened there, what's going on. Yeah, I'm just gonna tune that up a little and finish off this. I'll show you more actually when there's more to show. All right, real quick update here. I uh, I was not happy with the uh, the radius that I was achieving with the drill bit. I moved on to uh, a roll pin punch. Well, not this one, but you know, a roll pin punch. Tried that and uh, couldn't find one <laughs> the size that was making me happy. Nothing was making me happy. So um, yeah, I, I found this, uh, whatever, this little thumb screw, kind of a bolt. Looks like, uh, I don't know, what the hell does it look like? Whatever, it's teeny tiny. It was allowing me to get the radius that I was looking for, something that's gonna make me happy. Now, all I need to do is open her up just a touch. Yeah, like so, yes sir, and like so, and I do believe, get out, get out, yeah, there we go, now I'm talking, now, now we're talking, eh? now I'm talking at you, all right, um, there we go, that, and yeah, I can get you closer. That is what I was uh, desperately trying to achieve. That, that, you know, I want that radius. I want this to be almost even. It doesn't have to be perfect, but uh, as you can see, I've got it pretty darn close to, and it's pretty damn close enough. Now, now when I go and clip this thing in there, um, A's and B's, yep, yeah. like so, 
that locks right in. Sits, uh, well, I'll, I'll show you more when I got more light. I'll, I'll take you home because I'm, uh, I thinking, uh, I'm thinking anyway that uh, this is good. I'm done. Pretty, pretty happy. Pretty okay with that. So um, yeah, I'm gonna go home and finish off. All right, we're getting down to her. Um, here is the uh, the piece a little closer up with a whole bunch more light. Hopefully that's coming out all right. It will be painted some color, probably just black, maybe white. I don't know. But uh, anyway, before I get too much further into this, I'm going to round off the corners. And uh, to do that, I'm going to use my handy dandy. Uh, eh, it's a multi-tool. It's, it is what it is, you know, belt sander slash disc sander. I did a review on this uh, oh, many years ago when I first got it. it. It's actually my knife sharpener, which is what this jig is all about. Frickin' love this thing. If you don't have one, I highly suggest you get yourself one. Uh, you'll never have to pay anybody else to sharpen your knives for you. I'll put the link to that video, you know, up in there somewhere. Um, but I, I freaking love this tool. And I'll put a link to the, in the description, you know, where you can get this thing. It keeps uh, fluctuating in price. <laughs> It's all over the map. I don't remember what I paid for it, but whatever. It's in that, that video that I just linked to. Anyway, I'm going to use the uh, the little disc sander haw. That is some 60 grit, I do believe, and I'm going to I'm going to round that guy off real quick. Anyway, tune back in once that's done. Well, there we are. This bee's uh, basically the finished product. If I can get you in frame. Uh, screwed up a little bit on when I first drilled this hole. I don't know what freaking mark I was following. Clearly the wrong one. Anyway, um, I just uh, got a little extra wiggle room on that bottom tit. It don't matter. It works fine. Um, the uh, corner's all nicely rounded. Hopefully that's coming out. Yeah, all them corners nicely rounded. And uh, now I just got to throw some paint on it. But uh, here's the idea. This is how it functions. A's and B's go together like yo and like so. And that sits in there nice, quite nice. It's got a little little uh, side to side action, you know, if you want it. But uh, yeah, that's gonna do the job. Then, uh, you know, stick this to the front of your shirt, stick a magnet to the back of your shirt, and there you go, uh, dirt simple. All right, I'm gonna go paint this thing and then we're gonna finish off here. And that's gonna be this one. Finished, hopefully. Hey, if uh, if you really want to piss off the wife and the family, <laughs> next time you paint something, bring it indoors to put it into a toaster oven and make it uh, dry. <laughs> it works. I, uh, I, I, I did most of it anyway with a heat gun outdoors. Uh, let it cool off. Uh, it, it, it doesn't take much. 150 degrees for about 30 minutes, and yeah. Then it's just a cured part, like so. But, uh, yep, uh, that's what I did. <laughs> it doesn't stink bad, because like I said, I already did most of it with a heat gun, so it's good. Alrighty then, so this is what I've uh, come up with, how I finished off. Yeah, like so, like so. I got a lot of light going here. Hopefully this is uh, coming out well on screen. I can't see I'm too far away from the camera, but uh, yeah, it's uh, kind of like that, kind of like that. Anywho, um, here's the magnet that uh, I'm gonna use. I will put a link to uh, these down in the description. These are uh, neodymium. Uh, super N, N, oh, what is it, N45? Eh, N something, I can't remember. They're crazy strong, ridiculously strong. And, uh, you know, A's and B's. <laughs> yeah, when, once you stick these together, eh, eh, nothing's gonna go nowhere. So, um, what I'm gonna do, I'm going to, I'm talking into this microphone right now. I'm gonna do a little A-B comparison, see if this makes any real world difference. Uh, you're supposed to, you know, like I said in the beginning, microphone should be pointed at your mouth, but I can't, you know, if I clip this onto my shirt any which way, it's never pointing, you know, right at my pie hole. This will allow me to do that. So I'll go with the magnet. 
like that, and uh, yeah, you know what I mean. I can I can drag it. <laughs> you know what I mean. Um, these are these are crazy strong magnets here. You know, it's 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 adjustable. <laughs> so I'm um, talking into this microphone, you know, as I have been since the beginning of this video. Let me straighten this off, straighten this up just a touch. And uh, now we're getting the uh, audio from this microphone. Is there any difference? Um, I, I know these microphones, these are what are receivers, but they're also microphones. And I did a, a review on them, which will be. Christ, yeah, up there. Yep, should be uh, right there. Uh, I did a review on these, and as far as I know, I'm the only one that actually measured the frequency response of these things. So check that out. If you want to know what these microphones are really doing, everybody and their mother has done a review on these. I know, but I did a frequency response on these things. Um, you know, if you're interested in the actual numbers like I am, go check that out. Well, yeah, over there. <laughs> go check that out, because like I said, I'm pretty sure I'm the only one that did it. Anyway, um, these, uh, these things boost high, uh, hard, I should say, in the uh, mid, you know, upper mid range once you put these uh, little furries on. So talking into this microphone, and then we're talking into this microphone, and then we're going back to this microphone, and now we're going back to this microphone. Any difference? And I mean, they're, they're the, same, the same damn machine, so you know, they should be doing the same thing. Just difference is position. All right. Um, yeah, I won't know any of this until I put it into my editor and hear it for myself. But uh, hey, if there was a difference, you know, well, you know why, because the thing is positioned differently. But uh, hey, whatever, this was a uh, <clears throat> short and sweet one. Uh, you know, like so and like so, and there you go. Links for, uh, you know, all the pieces, parts here will be down, you know, down there. and in the comments. Wherever I can stick the thing, I'll stick the thing. You know what I mean? And uh, yeah, hey, hopefully you, uh, you got a little something out of this. Hopefully this was a little helpful to at least someone. Or maybe it was just a little entertaining. I don't know. But do the ding -a and the subscribe and the bells and the whistles and all that jazz. And hey, thanks for hanging out, guys. And we're going to see you in the next one. Aight. Cheers.